everybody, Sponge Murphy here, and in today's video, I will be sharing with you guys how I built up my Dread Side Hardens. Now, these are from issue 17 of the Mortal Realms magazine. I will be sharing things with like what they're like to build up, what they're like to put together, are they easy, are they hard, everything like that. So, stay tuned for the rest of the video. So to start off the build, the first model I'm going to be showing you guys is the Crone. Now this guy is the leader of the unit, he's the guy that gets the extra attack and he has like a little bit of an extra rules, but most importantly he has the extra bone sights. So he has four instead of two and more, all these models have three pieces except for the Crone. This guy has four. Now the main thing I've learned about doing any Nighthawk models, especially these guys, be very careful clipping them off the sprue. Be very careful cleaning them up with your hobby knife or the mold line remover because these are extremely fragile. They will snap, they will bend like that. And I mean they are very fragile. So just be very careful with that. Um, and make sure you get all the pieces off before you start gluing, just like I had to do there. I had to go back over it again. Now, I did have a little bit of trouble putting this guy together, just a small bit, because when I glued the two main body parts together, it didn't look like a fit. Um, well it looked like it fit and it looked like it fit except for from one angle but then when I put the rest of it on with the arms and everything it was fine it was put together pretty quickly then after that now when I'm switching to the base what I do is I put a glue or what I do is put a dot of super glue instead of plastic glue because when you want to take the model back off the base when you're cutting under the model with the hobby knife the super glue it just pops off but if you do with the plastic glue it's kind of fused into the plastic and it's a lot higher so switch to super glue and just put a little dot of it onto the base because it's easier to get off then when you want to base the model later on so then i moved on to the last four models of the unit now once i put the cone together the rest of these went together very very quickly they were pretty easy after that but they were still extremely fragile so i dry fitted everything i had the models all clipped off and cleaned and ready to go and then the form just went together pretty quick i did it in like five minutes not even that they're all kind of they're all different and they're all unique but the glue pretty much this is the exact same way all of them do and here they are all finished as much of a nuisance as these models are when you're trying to clip them off and trying not to bend or break bits they look fantastic all these night hot models look really nice but these guys mixed with the lore that you'll see in uh, the warhammer mortar realms magazine review this week is these are really all together these are a really great unit good lore fantastic models and i'm really looking forward to painting these guys because i'm doing a lot of research in painting night haunts because i really want to get a tutorial up there as well and i want to get this army built up because they look, once these are painted they look beautiful so i'm really looking forward to seeing that and i'm looking forward to getting more of this army built up so the overall thoughts on these are really nice models extremely fragile take your time putting them together once you get like one or two of them put together you'll realize what they're like and you'll pretty much get to the rest of them pretty quick then after that but if you guys like this video make sure to hit that like button comment and subscribe thanks for watching hopefully you guys learned something from this hopefully you learned about how fragile these are and uh, yeah once again thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video